Good morning. Today's video, pulling the trigger at just the right time. <laughs> what I'm referring to is we're starting our new business. We're starting our new business here in Phuket, which is property managing business. Focusing mostly on, no, focusing on to begin short term holiday lets here in Phuket. And let's face it, just around us where we are, they are thousands of holiday lets. So we're pulling the trigger, meaning we're going all in. We've made a decision, we decided, and we've had to go all in. And I've shared something like this before, you know, starting Maybell's Coffee Garden. And we shared it from the very beginning, but here we had to do some things first, which was get the work, get the prop, uh, business set up properly, get everything in place properly, because you might know in Thailand, a few things have happened with foreigners doing business, kicking people and other things. And yeah, they're really focusing on any foreigners doing stuff. And if you're doing something out of line that you're not meant to do, they're kicking you out if they're pissed off with foreigners acting stupid. The worst one must be the two Kiwi guys that wrestled a policeman to the floor and took his gun off him like, Jesus Christ, what were they thinking? I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, the, the at just the right time part, I'm gonna speak about this more later in the video, but uh, yeah, it seems like, I'm hoping anyway, this is just the right time. It seems like for a long time now, things have been happening. I've been managing to do things at just the right time. Uh, but yeah, we'll speak about that more. The business is Coco's Property Management. I'm gonna share with you the first property which is down the end of this beautiful Kata Beach. You know I love this beach. And it is a gem. I mean, honestly, to start with this one, and thanks to the owner, thank you mate, who came at just the right time because I spoke about this in a video. We have actually got the first one, but let's go to the other end of the beach. Okay, we are on the way to show you this first property that is on the books now with us, Coco's Property Management, our first holiday let. And yeah, I'll just talk about, look, on this channel I've spoke many times about, we might gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we could do this, we could do that. I've not done anything, but then with this now, we are committed, you know, we've spent money, we've paid for the company to be set up, we've paid for the website and the software to run it, you know, we're committed, we pulled the trigger, we're in. And it's like, sometimes you think of all these different ideas, I've done it all my life, we have started and ran a business in my head so many times when I was in the UK, but never actually done it. So I didn't really know how to do it then. But I always had all these different ideas. I bought so many domain names and never used them. And yeah, it's like, once you figure out how to do it, and then you maybe have another idea to do something else. The one thing that might put you off is, you know it's gonna be a lot of hard work, hard work. You don't know if it's gonna work. And hard work without any reward to begin. So yeah, that's kind of what puts you off. But yeah, I think you can make most things work if you stick at it long enough. And in the last video I said about people going home. One of the main reasons, money. And you know what, uh, I'm not immune to that. That is the one thing that could really happen to me. All this stuff that we've been doing, we could, could go wrong and we could run out of money. So yeah, but even though that could happen, I choose to share it on here. And yeah, hopefully I'm committed enough and, and yeah, hopefully it won't. You know, I hope and I said doing something at just the right time. It feels like that, but let's hope it is. Or I think you've got to believe it is in your own head. But anyway, uh, this would be the beach if you choose to rent this holiday let. Uh, this will be the beach that is Roughly eight minutes walk from your place. This is the view, but I filmed this property some time ago and I didn't know this is what we was going to be doing. So just keep that in mind when you're watching the next part. Uh, I kind of knew what I wanted to do, but yeah, this was the, I say the trigger 
that made me go, right, let's just do it. Let's do it, Maybell. <laughs> the property is at the end of this beach, right there, look, up there. You see the green and yellow building. So take a little look. As I said, I didn't know this is what we was doing, so yeah, have a look, come back, and we'll talk about the other stuff at just the right time. <laughs> This is the view, this is the balcony. Oh my God, I, I, I'll be completely honest. If I had enough money, I wouldn't be sharing this. This, I would be stealing this for myself. Wow, absolutely incredible. I'm gonna to go to the front door and show you now, but this is what I love. Listen, you can't hit, the, the road is so blocked out, nature and waves. That's all I've heard since I've been here. Let's have a look. So this is your huge balcony with the view onto Kata Beach. I mean, location guys, you know if you've seen my channel before. This is my beach, Kata Beach. This is where I should be living. Oh my goodness. So let's go and have a look. Beautiful balcony. I mean, this place is quality. I'm told 140 square meters. But it feels bigger than that to me. Look, beautiful sitting room. All the furniture's good quality. And then you go through, dining area. You've got your kitchen here, Western style kitchen. Two fridges, American style fridge. I even like the entrance, I do. Yeah, even the front door is, is awesome, look. Bathroom here. And then your Western kitchen, oven, hob, sink, looking out onto that amazing view. But look at that, look at sitting here. Listen, guys, there's no noise whatsoever. All there is is nature and waves. God damn. Sorry, I thought I was filming myself then. Getting a bit lost in here. <laughs> wow, this place is beautiful. Let's go through into the bedroom. Look at these doors onto the bedroom. They're like, oh my God, they're so heavy. Look at the thickness of them. <laughs> Master bedroom that leads onto this awesome balcony again. Beautiful. Huge. Check it out, man. Maybe we need to be living here. Wardrobes, double sink, walk-in closet, and this beautiful big shower. Look at that. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this place. If I could afford it, you wouldn't even be seeing it. But just look at that. It's just beautiful. Listen. There's a communal pool I'll show you in a minute on the way out. Where's the sun? Yeah. Oh man, I love this place. I actually looked in here a long time ago. And I didn't share it. I wanted to live here, but yeah, we just can't afford it at the moment. But oh, beautiful. You can tell it's quality old and, and there's no noise. You can't hear any road noise. Look, hardly see anyone here. Quiet, beautiful location. Location, location, this place is. Cata Beach. You're on Cata Beach. Let me show you the pool. Yeah, if you're interested, you best hit me up fast and I'll, and I'll hook you up. <laughs> I'm not the agent yet. My head's spinning actually. Oh shit.
So that's the place. Absolutely. I tell you now, if I had the choice, I would have rented that to live there. Because it, the road is a dead end there, you cannot hear any road noise. All you can hear is this. And the sun sets here, over here, every evening around 6 p.m. It's just, yeah, it's a win-win place. It's just incredible for a holiday. To live there would be amazing, but your holiday, yeah, beautiful, beautiful location. And hopefully more will be coming in the same building. You can book it on our website, you can book it through Airbnb, you can book it through booking.com. We do all of that now on our own website. It's been hard work. I've had to pay money and we've had a few teething problems setting up this website and software. Oh my God, yeah, honestly, it's been pretty hard. But we're almost there. Still a few things not right. But you can book it and yeah, awesome place. It's not open for high season at the moment, but it will be later. Uh, and the good thing, what you know, the, the property management thing, yeah, we're kind of going more just the holiday lets, for now anyway, you know. Uh, and the thing I like about having our own website is people can come and book direct with us. That's the best part for me. And we can customise things now on this platform. We've not done it yet. We can add, you can have add-ons like a VIP transfer from the airport, a dinner for two in Maybell's Coffee Garden, all sorts. So yeah, it's exciting, but hey, it's not easy. And yeah, but we're committed and we pulled the trigger. Well, we're off. We're off to a flying start with the first incredible property. And soon, next month, we'll be adding one more. Ours will be on the website and bookable next door, another one next to Maybell's Coffee Garden. Before I get to the doing thing, doing something at just the right time part, let's clear one thing up here. I've seen a lot of comments in the last video about me touching my head. <laughs> I noticed it myself and the first clip I filmed at Katanoi Beach, I just walked over a big hill. Look, I'm sweating now. It's 28 degrees at 7.30 in the morning. Thailand is going through a heat wave at the minute. It's so hot. I was sweating, that's why. Yeah, don't worry. I've just seen so many people commenting on it. And then the other thing I was thinking about was like, you know, back at home I had all these different ideas of businesses but never actually did one. And it was like, why not? And I honestly think this is a big reason is we've all got jobs and the job robs you of the time to put in the hard work to open a business. Because like, you know, I'd have an idea and I'm talking about it and telling my friends and then piss my friends off actually. <laughs> Some of them were like, bloody hell, what are you going on about now? Something else. And then, yeah, you, you, you have a hard week at work, you go to the pub and it's like, fuck it. You're just too busy with work. Work robs you of the time to start a business, I believe. You know, now we've got a business, it virtually runs itself. We have to stock up and stuff like that. We have the time to do something else. That's why it feels good. That's why it feels like it's happening at the right time. And also, another thing I'm thought of, what I'm doing here, starting a cafe, restaurant, cafe, coffee shop, whatever you want to call it, and now the property thing. You know, so many people have done this before me. Probably just like I've done it, but they haven't, didn't have the, the way of doing it like this and sharing it. You know, many, many have come before me and done the same thing. And yeah, you don't have to re reinvent the wheel, like, as you say, you know, what works, works. It's just your, you have to commit and do it and, yeah, make it work. So, yeah. Okay, I'm now at holiday home number two. Which you've seen our videos before, you'll know it's next door to our main business, Maybell's Coffee Garden, which, by the way, is going nowhere at the moment staying here for your info we're now back to opening six days a week monday's closed so that's why it's nice and quiet so yeah let me show you property number two which is next door and talk about things happening at just the right time so yeah the the property thing like you know hopefully in this area there is a lot of airbnbs booking.com you know holiday lets all around so if we can get as many as we can 
in the area then we can stay here because we actually really like the location you know peaceful now look middle of the day no one's here and honestly it, it is roasting so hot it's too hot in in Phuket right now so this is uh, the second one cute little house and the next one for next month is just three doors away that'll be coming on the website next month both properties are on our website now you can book click the link in the description and all that you know have a look book it pack your bags book it and go <laughs> so let's have a look at this one anyway because this is the original this is what we started with okay let's go in and look at this one but look lots of nature around here green and big buddhas up that way Kata Beach not so far away it's a cute little one bedroom house into the hallway straight from the door then a bedroom You've got a little balcony at the back no one overlooking you nice little shaded balcony laundry we've got a washing machine just next to the shop, coin operated washing machine and water, coin operated water. I think this one's done so well because we've got breakfast included next door at our place. But if we can get some more around here, we could do that. Here's a bathroom. Oh, and who's this here? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's a lady and a little baby. Look at the little baby, Macy, how are you, oh, you are so beautiful, oh no, you're going to cry, oh no, don't, 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 <laughs> see, she's scared of the camera already, this is the sitting room, comfortable, we have AC in the sitting room and the bedroom, and we've got another little balcony here, oh, that was our, that was the lady, she was coming to our shop and just realised it's closed. And yeah, that's our second Airbnb. Right next door to our cafe. You've got a cooking class over the road if you want to do Thai cooking. And the next one will be three doors away, right? Yes, available in May. And for the people who've been asking, Maybell, how are you? Not Macy, you, Fantastic. how are you? Fantastic, yeah. <laughs> Maybell is loving being a mum. You can just tell. Loving being a mum to this beautiful little Macy. Come on, give me a smile, Macy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. We know. The... Okay, let's go in. It's so, so hot here now. Too hot. It's very hot. It's now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's talk about things happening at the right time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look, Macy's got a big smile now. We're not pointing the phone at her. Yeah, so what do I mean by things happening at just the right time or doing things just at the right time? It's kind of like, in 2018, I made a big decision like, right, this is it. I, went, I was here in Thailand. I said, I'm moving here in two years. I left Maybell and said, I'll be back in two years. <laughs> I made the right, you know, I said, that's it. I'm moving to Thailand. I'm going to change this and this, this and this. And just making that decision. And then since then, I went home and I got the best job I've ever had in my life. I needed to be alone, away from distractions, people. I've got a job on my own, sitting on a train, getting paid £25 an hour, saving my pennies to come back here. Got it just at the right time. Covid came, I decided to move here. I got here just at the right time, just before it closed. A year later, well, when we first here, Maybell's family said, what's he going to do for money? I said, YouTube, and they were like, <laughs> But anyway, I just had a feeling. I was never, people said, you're brave and stuff like that. I never felt brave or anything. I just had a feeling that everything that I was doing, I was meant to be doing. And then a year later, we opened Maybell's coffee garden, just at the right time, and if we didn't, would have been broke. Not, I don't think, I said a year, left, well, I've got a year of money left, but I don't think we did have. <laughs> so yeah, lots of things have just been happening just at the right time. And it's like a feeling, you can just feel it, you know it. It's like, 
you know, I was walking around Phuket one time, no subscribers, no views, everybody empty, but I was walking around on such a high because it just felt like I was doing the right thing at the right time. I think I read somewhere, you know, when you, when you make a real firm decision, the universe starts working in your favour and putting things in front of you, like, you know, this coffee shop, I, I went from my haircut in Phuket Town, as I was driving back, something made me turn left, being nosy. We'd just been talking about the coffee garden, and then I drive up, there they are, just painting the building white, all ready to go, and I pull up and go, ah, oh, okay, this could be the coffee garden. A day later, we're signing the thing and doing it just at the right time, it's like, Almost like it's, it's giving you these things and it's up to you to take the opportunity. So, and even though it's been bloody hard, and now I feel like we're doing something else just at the right time. And yeah, that's just my little thing there, you know. If you're, if you're, if you're thinking of all these different business ideas or, and you're always thinking you should be doing something, that's probably because you should. And you know, you just have to make that decision, really stick by it, and then things should start working in your favour and the universe will start giving you things like opportunities along the way. Because you have to be open for them, don't you? If you're not open, like when COVID came, I was ready to go. I was basically <laughs> laughing now, are you? Yeah. So anyway, I think that's it. Sweating now again. Okay guys, these are, this is our pl new plan, Mabel. Mabel's coffee garden's going nowhere. We're gonna stick with that. I wanna be able to grow it. I want to, expand Mabel's coffee garden but also with the properties it just fits together if we get more around here there's six here we've got two well it's what well, it'd be nice to end up with all six yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> or with breakfast included at Mabel's coffee garden check out the website still a few teething problems I haven't been able to link the my own domain name even though we've got it but I'm working on it I'm working on it I'm working on it Macy yeah you can give me an energy boost. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next one. Goodbye.